Hello and welcome to Richmond. We are here in the Gen 4 series, getting started here with qualifying. Um, I was doing some practice and I was feeling a little bit off pace, and then I got into the session and actually did some of the uh, actual session practice laps in the warm-up, and I think I might have found something, so we're going to see if, uh, if it works. I actually was doing kind of like a, a middle line through 1 and 2. And uh, it was kind of carrying some better speed, especially through the exit of two. I think that might have been what I was missing, so we'll find out. We'll see if I just crash it here and look like a fool, but... Okay, here comes your first time lap. Yep, crashing it, looking like a fool. <laughs> that did not grip up, grip up at all. I think... Uh, try to get another good run to the line. I think that was just the tires being cold that caused that. So hopefully the tires are more up the temp now. V6, you've just done a 22.4. Okay, okay, that's better, that's better. The leader's just done a 21.7. Kinda entering middle. I'm doing like a cut down. Didn't quite work as much in uh, 3 and 4, but definitely worked in 1 and 2, I think. So if I were to put that together, get a better 3 and 4, we might have uh, even had a better lap, but P3 right now. Just gotta be careful on those cold tires, it looks like. I'm gonna try to do a uh, fast run through 3 and 4, to see if... Uh, running lower helps. See, so you can kind of get a little bit of speed low through 1 and 2, but uh, you don't get as quite a good an exit, so I think that might be why running a lane higher helps. Because it really feels like it tightens up out of 2. See there, that even felt good at first, but you just you don't get quite the run. So, that's interesting. Okay, that was pretty good through 3 and 4, especially having a couple laps on the tires now. So, I think I'm kind of getting what the track wants from me. We'll do a practice pit in now. Essentially, you just enter the Which corner like normal, but you never let go of the brakes. Driving. <laughs> and just keep driving closer down. The That's the way I do it anyway. Dante says he just doesn't have it. Where did he end up? Um, well, that's not too bad. 14th. He's ahead of a handful of people. Hopefully a clean race at least. Yeah, um, Richmond can be tricky because with uh, people overdriving into the corners and sliding like the way I did in my first qualifying lap, you can get wrecks, and um, it's really easy to dive it in on somebody and to uh, into the corners because you kind of want to take a wide entry, especially like into one there. And so people enter low and then they drift up and hit the person on the outside or even like start sliding. So it's pretty tricky. But we have been bumped to the outside now, P4. I think I want the outside. Maybe. I'm not sure. I might take that back <laughs> in a minute. But really strong field, by the way. We're the number six car in a 3.7k strength of field. So at least uh, top heavy. We've got Blake McCandless in here with his 7,000 I rating. And then we've got a couple more guys in the 6,000s. And then a couple guys just above me in the 5,000s for a P6 here. So, everyone uh, talking about the <laughs> new Richmond logo that's been updated in iRacing to match the real world current logo. So, yeah, hopefully uh, Dante has a good race. I think he'll be okay if he can uh, keep it clean and things. 
Unfortunately, another thing that happens here when there are wrecks, it feels like uh, it's really hard to avoid them because you're entering the corner so quickly. Feels like it's really hard to avoid when guys are getting sideways and you can get some big wrecks here. Which uh, hopefully we will be in front of if they do happen. 110 laps here to do. That is uh, a. That car has a sensory overload right in front of us. <laughs> That's uh, quite something. So, 81 laps of fuel. We will need to pit. As is uh, typical in this series. Two sets of tires. So, we'll have to be smart. We'll get session last lap up and uh, hopefully not slide these first couple of laps. Um, I got my brake bias to 62%. It really wants to pull to the left, which is good, but a little too much can be bad. So I moved my uh, brakes just to 62 instead of the normal all the way to 60 like I'll do, which hopefully will be good. Oh, I didn't even notice Charles was in here. Charles is in here as well. I must, I must have missed his name. Big field. I mean, we've got, what, 27 people in here? 28? Looks like we got 20, uh, 28 people, so. Oh, Charles didn't qualify. That's probably smart. He'll let uh, a couple wrecks happen, probably. And uh, not have to run into that. I'm hoping it'll happen behind us. If it does happen. Additional set of tires for this race. Smooth and have a good run. 79. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Gonna have to be careful on launch here. I think it could be really sketchy when we get on throttle. Gonna be a second gear start, it looks like. We'll test uh, launch here in a second. Okay, that's not too bad since we're in second gear. Alright, I'm ready. I'm gonna have to somehow peel my eyes away from that two cars uh, sensory overload and look at the nine for the launch. That is highly distracting. Maybe that's the idea. People don't run into him because they can't ever lose sight of him. They always know he's there. Oh, it's two degree, and I'm a dummy. I was ready to launch. We are on a short track, as much as uh, Richmond doesn't feel like one sometimes. It's how much speed you carry through here. It sometimes doesn't feel like a short track, but it is. Under a mile. Okay, for real this time, gonna ready up. Kind of hard to see him. Tight corners. Green flag, green flag. The car inside. Still inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Clear inside, but not gonna move down there. That would have been dangerous, I think. Just gonna try to keep it smooth for now. The leader has just done a 21.9. You've just done a 22.0. The car ahead has just done a 22.0. You four. Do like that middle line in one and two. Five going for a pass, maybe. That lap was a 21.9. Five nine. We appreciate. 
They're uh, kind of getting on the quarter. Oh, pay hey, freaking attention to my car. I'm freaking get the wall on the straightaway, you dummy. That's embarrassing. Lives in the wall. Up time was twenty two point two. Inside. We just keep running this middle line, I guess. Stay high. Try not to hit the wall anymore. Clear inside. That last light was at twenty-two point three. Inside. Still there. Almost Still got the there. wall. Inside. Jesus. This is tough, man. Very easy to end up in that wall. Still there. Inside. Clear. Just kind of holding steady right now. It's tough to gain speed because you can't really gain on it on entry very much. Good consistency. Keep it going. Inside. Clear inside. Since uh, you can't run over the guy. Sorry, this is tough. It's taking a lot of my focus. My internet doesn't cause any issues. I know it's still in the yellow. It's been bad all day. Car inside. Clear inside. inside. I can't cut down like I want to. Ooh, I got tapped Clear. a little bit. Finally, do the cut down line I want to do. Got a pass for the lead going on, maybe? You've just done a 20 You're side by side up there. I wonder if the high line's gonna start coming into play with the dynamic track. That'll be interesting. I think if it does, it'll be definitely like three and four more than one and two, but I can. I could be wrong. Her and how I needed it to there. I'm probably hurting the tires. I'm not really doing anything in terms of tire saving. Which is probably bad, but a little late now to start.
on the right. All right, that kind of worked. Inside, clear. Oh, we had some contact with the lead. Contact with the wall there at the five. They're fighting hard. The next car's the leader. The lap time was 22. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Oh my god, he is like blocking. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but. That was almost bad. So we got loose on the straightaway. That's not what I wanted. So this is why they call it the action track. You just gotta put some Gen 4 cars on it and then you get some action. I see now. Oh boy, there. Getting real close to one another. They have been, but I feel like it's a matter of time before they start actually hitting each other hard. Well, I'm not the only one running okay, higher up the track inside. now. Still there, inside. Clear inside. That was at 23.0. Yeah, I'm starting to fall off. One's gonna get by me here soon, I think. Inside. Clear inside. Last lap time was at 23.0. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty Know where to go with these huge runs I get sometimes. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Inside. Keep high. P3. That was a 23.0. Stay high to the car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. Can we make a pass? Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Inside. Still there inside. Whoa! We get hit on the door. Still inside. Clear. And he shuts the door on us. Pretty aggressive here. Ah, uh, struggling to get the throttle down all of a sudden. Outside. Rear tires are not happy with me. Still there, hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Alright, you know what the one by he's been taking care of his tires Outside. better, so. Clear. Just let that happen.
pretty impressive. We've been able to go green this whole way with how tricky this is. Someone in the wall up there. Oh, it's so wobbly down the straightaways, man. It's very difficult to hold on to. We're almost time to uh, get close to the time it's uh, time to pit. That's what I'm trying to say. Get a one try in that higher line. Gets a huge run. It did work for him, I think. My internet is still garbage. I don't know what's going on today. I'm going to have to restart the internet after this. See if that helps. And the frames are kind of dropping a little. I don't think those two things are related, but it's another thing that's happening to me right now. Oh! The one in the wall. Got it pretty good. You're running all over the track. This is pretty wild. That lap was at Lap traffic up there? Is that what I'm seeing? Good consistency. Oh no! Oh my god! Man, we barely avoid that. But uh, unfortunately, get a 4x from it. Can't hold the brake. I mean, hit the brake when people are wrecking in front of you. All right, Colton. The pit window is now open. Well, that's unfortunate. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero one. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Not sure if that was my fault or not. If it was, sorry. Thought I'd give you enough room. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. All right. Well, we're gonna take tires and fuel. That was a long enough run to want to do that. Lane speed limit is 40 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. I was having a good run. Pit box team, 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Right here. All the damage is repairable. Oh, we did get a little bit of damage from that. I guess uh, the guy's nose hit my door. On the right side, 77.87 for the tires. I can repair the damage. That's it, go. Be mindful, you only have one Come out in the same spot, it looks like. They want you in single file. It's fine, you got loads. We have enough one. fuel to get to the end, it looks like, so no more green flag pit stop needed. We'll save a little bit just in case, though. It looks like it might be a little close. Let's see. 116. Yeah, I think we're fine. P4, we'll have a new set of tires on this thing. 
Seems pretty darn hard to pass since everybody can run every line, it feels like. We'll be on the outside again, which I think is good. Gotta remember I can't enter as hard as uh, I want to on the cold tires. Dante, back there in seventh, he was saying he wasn't uh, feeling that great. Looks like he's been doing a pretty darn good job to me. Hopefully that continues for him. I, uh, I assume he was able to avoid everything that happened there with the wreck. One lap to green. Get ready. You're on the Lisa outside at the end of this lap. So we'll still be in P4. Still got the sensory overload car in front of us. That kind of looks like the visual representation of a cat. How's your car doing, Bob? About to go green. Stay focused. All right, nine gonna get the launch. See if we can get a good view of them. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. green. You're back in fourth position. He was going real in slow through line two. Still it's the other guy on my inside. Still there. Oh, slide from the one car. Still inside. Keep high. Oh, two's gonna hold me up again. You're in the middle. I Three don't want to be in the middle through the lines. I'm lifting off. Left. Caution, yellow right, caution. So we got held up by the two a bunch, and that uh, got the five by us, unfortunately. We think that steel has been dead. A little patience in that 24 car would go a long way. His car is out. Man, that stinks. Uh, we're going to be behind the two again here, too. So hopefully he can run better on the inside. We do have like over Pete 60 Road, left open. race left, so. It's are open. Yeah, the 24 did the same thing on the start. Problems with 24. Yeah. Ping pong and then off. Don't the know the guy. First lap. I was just trying to get out of his way. All right, well, we'll be on the inside. Car five. Got the Maybe the inside is where you want to be early on, inside. just with everybody stacked on top of each other. Since you can't really take full advantage of the big runs you can get from the high lane, necessarily. Five. Five. Are open. <laughs> Everyone's piling onto the 24. I think he gets it. Is that still not two to green? Lots of uh, pace laps here. Maybe I'm just eager. Ready to get going. Oh, the, the 24 is defending his uh, position of whatever happened. I don't know what happened, but so, did we'll you, see later. Like, really just admit to racing like an ass when we have just shy of 70 laps left? Now it's like 60-something? Like, like, I feel like if you're racing like that much of a cool, but this amount of time left, like something's got to be worked on. Like whether like whether it's like qualifying or like race pace, but like I mean, come on, man. Like now you're just kind of fucking the rest of our races. Pete Road, you're close right now. We're on the caution. So like outside the top 15.
Oh, apparently this 24 is just wrecking people for track position. And uh, is just okay with that. So I guess uh, be scared of him if uh, he starts getting closer. Hopefully we don't fall any farther back and stay away. Who knows though, maybe uh, maybe everybody else is over exaggerating. We'll watch the replay. One left to green. Hopefully the two will get a better launch this time. It wasn't even really the launch, it was like uh, just kind of carrying speed through the corners. I kind of felt like I was stuck behind him and then we, ended up, we were going to end up three wide and I had to back off of that. There's no way I'm doing that on lap 44 or whatever it was. I don't think I would even do that on lap 110 to be honest. I don't think it's worth it to get wrecked. About to go green, stay focused. See how this goes. It might be a little looser on the low line. So I gotta be careful okay, with the throttle. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. Outside, keep low. Stay low. Stay low. Still there, hold your line. Hold me even right now. Still there, hold your line. Kind of catching up to the two again. Stay low. Still there. Oh, Coming did he get the wall? He did. What the hell? Stay low. Oh. There's a car on the high side. Did not mean to do that. Stay low. I apologize to him, but he uh, can't hear, so that's not gonna serve me any well. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. I thought he was taking that higher Stay line low. again. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. The car in front of us is Villa. Stay low. We're eventually going to lose this battle on the low side. Clear. In fact, we do right now. Car outside. Still there. Hold Fortunately, the guy gets in our outside there. Still there. Keep low. We're okay on fuel. Stay low. I need to just get to the outside, man. So we're gonna lift off a little bit, file in while we have the chance. Holding it down low is not working. Still going up high. P6, that's what a car number is, so I'm still okay with where I am. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Going down a lot. It's not expecting him to go middle. I feel like I'm always in the exact uh, lane the guy in front of me is by accident. Sixth place. I 
nothing I can really do. Battling for the lead up there. Seems very difficult to pass. There's just so much you can do to hold off guys on the outside lane. Ooh, it looked like the 18 almost got the guy ahead. Uh-oh. Sparks, I saw the sparks. I knew somebody was in the wall ahead of me. Two in the wall, I think. Lost some pace. The next car is Viva. Is he around that wall again? Now, at least we got a second behind us. This front group seems to be pulling away a little bit. Very tough racing. Glad we seem to be going green again, too. Breeze pitching it a little bit. He looked yawed out. He looked yawed out that whole corner. Maybe it's just the angle on that. I don't know. Kind of calming myself down a little bit. Trying to be a little smoother for a second. Whoa, some contact, I think. The head. Your last lap time was at 22.7. The gap to Braggle behind is now 1.3. Car inside. Clear. Ooh, the two backs off. Did not really expect that, but... Glad I got where I did. Interesting. He might be dealing with some really hot tires or maybe even some damage from that wall hit that I'm pretty sure he had. Car inside. Clear. Inside, clear. Lane for us. Stay high, clear. Ah, oh, slid up into the freaking wall. Get out of there. Inside. Jesus. Keep high. Would not get off the wall. Still there at the bottom. That last lap was at twenty three point three. Man, I'm just going to be lucky if I can get out of this race without wrecking myself. This is very difficult. Jeez. 
chipping out when I get those big runs out of four. lower line one and two there I don't think that's gonna work cars too tight for that Another yellow. I think we probably take our last set of tires here. It's been long enough. Yeah, that was fun. I think I had to run my stuff off a little bit. Yeah, saving that whole run if they didn't run green. E5. Make sure we're caught up to the field here. Race cars out. Line up single file behind car number eight. Monty, I don't know what that means. Race car is out. Pits are closed. Catch up, Paul. Pit road is now open. We're gonna make sure we put fuel Pits in it. I think I want that extra turn. The leader is pitting now. Look out for the pit speed limit. He's got loads of fuel. Stacking up pretty good here in the pits. Pit box team, 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Right here. All the damage is repairable. We'll get a little more damage fixed, I guess. 86.91 that time. I wonder if two tires as a play. I think with minimal gains we'd have here, that's not something we want to do, but... Interesting to think about. Go, go, go! You are out of time. Line up single file. Hey, don't. Give me some room here, 18. Didn't put fuel on it because it unchecks auto fuel. That's annoying. I tried. Four course yellow. Pits are open. So, we'll overtake the 18, I guess. Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, we're P4. Pass that 21, car. Pass that 21, car. 86.91 were my tires. I was definitely harder on them than everybody, both front and back. <laughs> 87.93 for Dante. That's more like what I had, 87, 93. Huh. I seem right in line from what uh, everybody else has. I don't know. We'll be on the outside. Maybe we can make that work. I think you can make it work. Oh, no. The two forgot to select tires. That sucks. Worse than what I had. All I wanted to add was to add some more fuel to it. He loses a ton. It's our open. Car up front, we'll get the wave around and then we will line up in the second row outside. Go. Next time by, you're Go on the outside this time. time. 
wonder if we're going to get more green running. We've had some pretty good green runs this race, better than I might expect from Richmond, which can be a little bit wreck heavy sometimes. But with it getting closer to the end of the race, who knows what's going to happen, especially with uh, hearing like hearing about what guys like the 24 are doing, running through people to get track position. About to go green. Stay focused. One going all the way to the wall. Why is he doing that? Car is off. Be ready. Green, 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 green. You're back in fourth position. Yeah, I guess it worked. <laughs> Inside. Stay high. Clear inside. Car oh, inside. Got attitude. That was bad. Stay high. Still there. Gotta remember these cold tires aren't gonna want to grip. Still there, inside. Keep high. Man, it's wanting to snap on the exits. He was wanting to drift up into that front stretch wall, man. You're back in fourth position. Still there. Clear inside. Inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Finally getting clear of the guy behind. Car inside. Still there. Well, he is still driving it in there. Still there at the bottom. The yellow flag is out. Oh, don't tell me he was in front of me. Thank goodness. Man, now we gotta do it again. I was just starting to get clear of him. His car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero three. We're under caution. It's closed. His car keeps coming out like right in front of us, and everyone has to slow it down real hard. What steering ratio are you guys running? I had to get a drink of water. This is exhausting, man. I just have it on whatever it comes as. I don't ever usually change it. Twenty-four to one. I'm running to six. I run 12 to 1, which is about everything, unless we get a really short track, shorter than this, no, then I'll do 10 to 1. In this car, at least. Well, that was some hard fighting. Uh, it's been clean up front, though for the most part, and we've been racing really hard. We had that wreck earlier, I don't know who was at fault for that. Gonna have to test uh, launch here, because we did use those tires up a Big little bit. Is cars out. It's a yes, it feels like it could start getting some slippage uh, once the RPMs get higher, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. We'll be on the outside again. Can't let it snap like it almost did. I almost wrecked myself in the freaking field on that last restart. I got real sideways out of two. 
So we can look through the field. See who is where. Two is still back there in tenth. Seems really difficult to move forward. Dante in twelfth. Having a pretty good run, especially as the seventeen. Leaders having uh, to go. Next time by. Line up on the heart spasms. <laughs> From the lead, that's not good. Looks like Charles is still in it too in P19. Yikes. Now, I'm not joking. He's. Huh. Having medical issues, perhaps. That sucks. Get ready, going green. Guess we'll do what the one did. Can't see from up here, though. Post car is off. Green, green, green. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I was gonna follow the one, because it seemed to work for him last time, but... I couldn't see because of my single monitor. That's a triple monitor thing only, I think. Stay high. Clear. All right, it's diving it in. I bet. Clear. Probably didn't expect me to go low there, though, so I kind of understand it. Inside. They ain't fun if I don't think I'm going to be able to make a pass down here. Clear outside. Wondering if they're gonna get stacked up down there. And I might get those outside, but so far not happening. No problem. Oh, I cut that close, I'll be honest. Can't do anything about this, though. Nothing to do with that run I get. Inside. 18's back to my inside. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Got ten left to go. The lap time was at 22.6. Okay, it's just so hard to pass, man. Only nine to go. This race has been uh, closing up in a hurry. Oh, saw some fish tailing up ahead, maybe. The three's really trying for that lead.
Oh my god, it wants to snap so bad at it too. It's really scaring me. Trying highest line. There's a little bit of speed up there, maybe. Five to go. Five. Five to go. You're going well. Keep at it. I don't think we're going anywhere. We just got to try to hold on to fourth, which is a very good, a good spot to be in, to be sure. Inside. He's getting to our inside, so I gotta be careful when I'm cutting down. Oh, we got lap traffic coming at the worst time, man. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna go low. He's being a really good lap car. I appreciate him. Or her, it looks like. My bad. Alright, coming to the white flag. We just gotta not make a mistake here, I think. Some of the dumbest fucking people, I swear. Uh-oh, sounds like there might be a last lap incident, but we are just gonna calmly exit for four hour P4. Good race. Woo! P4. And we yeah, finish under green, that's awesome. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Hope your cat's alright. Good job. Very good job. Ooh, all right. Let's get it pulled over. Neil, you're a weapon, brother. Eight parts next to us. So, final tires. 87.92. That's exactly what I think we had on the last set of tires, isn't it? Something really similar to that. So, uh, really, really tough to pass, but also... Really, really tough just to keep that uh, that pace. Anyway, so we'll get P4. I'm, I'm very happy with that run. Finish right behind Blake, Robert, and then Devin as the winner. We'll stay exactly where we were when we started, which is kind of interesting. Start fourth, finish fourth. And uh, how did the rest of the guys finish? Very, very tough. Good race. Yeah, um, you kind of just had to hope for a mistake, I guess. I think the best chance was on the outside, but getting to the outside is a very tough challenge all on its own. And even then, it's far from a guarantee. But it was very fun. Um, Dante gets a P15 right where he qualified. After saying uh, he wasn't feeling too good. That's the 17. Not a bad run at all. Would have got a top 10 at the Saves Green. Oh, that Saves. I saw you move forward.
Yeah, I saw him on my relative at one point. He was like seventh or something. I was like, dang. For him to move that far forward, he was doing something right. Yeah, that's where I saw him, P7. And that's uh, that's noteworthy. I mean, you saw how much we uh, were side by side this race. Just not really able to do anything, but it was pretty fun. It was hard racing. And uh, really, I think the dynamic track helped open up some lines here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was going low, high, trying to figure out what was working, checking my session last lap. And uh, it made it really tough to get around people, but it was also really fun moving uh, all around. So I'm happy with that race. I'm glad we got so many green lap runs at a place that sometimes can really devolve. Yeah, the horsepower, I think, really helps here, too. Um, it only helps uh, to run the high line if you've got the horsepower to take advantage of the extra momentum you can use, I guess. Or, you know, the same thing, I guess, could be said about the bottom lane, but I've noticed that, too. So, lap three. So, that looks like um, there was no three-wide call here, I don't think, but I think the 19 was leaving the lane for the 27 up top, and the 24 probably just didn't see it. So that seems like just a bad circumstance there. No one's really at fault, I would say. Seven's trying that high line. Probably gonna get the, yep, straightaway wall like I did, I think three or four times. I'm usually pretty good about staying out of the wall, but it's tough here. Oh no, Charles got 13 a little bit. Just the tiniest of taps. But of course the shovel nose on this thing, that's all it takes. I think he, uh, he fixed him though. <laughs> Got him going back straight. Seven gets into the wall. Here we are, lap 28. Ooh, tight racing out of two. Looked like the 16 got pretty tight. Here's probably me getting in a wall. Oh no, that's, uh, that's when the nine kind of gave me a tap. That was nothing. I mean, in a world without net code or, uh, you know, weird, other, otherwise weird interactions between these cars, I mean, that's just normal short track racing. Like you would see in real life, I guess. You know, take every inch. Just get sketchy on iRacing because you don't know how it's, things are going to react. Uh oh, Charles hit somebody else. Charles entering a little hard, maybe. Was that the... No, okay. I thought he got the 13 again, and I was like, 13's getting bullied. But, no, it was the uh, 26 this time. Gets hit. Difference uh, on enter entering speed. 15's gonna blink a bit. Everybody's fanned out on the back stretch. 21's entering at a bad angle. Gonna drift up into the guy. We had a really good amount of green laps, though. Man, the 26 getting hit again. Maybe the 26 is entering pretty soft. It's hard to tell from here. But maybe that's why that keeps happening. He's entering much softer than everybody's kind of expecting. Ooh, okay. Weird. That's not at all how I thought that happened. So. Nine barely misses him on entry. And it looks like we're going to be fine. I think what happened was the 9 thought the 5 was going to be taking the low line. See you later. So the 5, that's how he got hit. And then we got a little tiny bit of a tap here. And we this is where we got our 4x. Uh, I think it was just net code, because um, I didn't even really look. I I hit him, and we got like seven seconds of damage, and then plus a four x, which 
that's a bummer, but it is what it is. Um, five got it worse, so, and the ten got into it too. Oh man, that's uh, I think the ten was talking about guys using the brakes. Kind of hard to expect that to happen though. He bounces off the five much harder than I'm sure anyone could have expected. And kind of even before the race, I was talking about how it's it's really tough to avoid wrecks here because you're entering the corner with so much speed. That might be a byproduct of that. So moving along here, we are on lap 45. Here's the 24, what they were talking about. Um, I think the 24 obviously made a mistake. He's being aggressive, but then also made a mistake. And uh, just got to own up to your mistakes. The guy's trying to act like, uh, yeah, this is just what I meant to do. You know, I'm just racing hard. Got to get the track position. But like, he made a mistake. Like, it's one thing to take it free wide. Probably too aggressive right there. But he's also driving in too hard as the 16 is trying to take his line. And that's what causes the wreck there. So. I mean, if you want track position, you probably also want track position without a broken car. I would guess. And you're not really, uh doing a very good job of maintaining that car condition if you're running into people. So that was that caution. 19 in the front stretch wall. I think everybody did that at least once this race. I know I did. 14. That's a big hit. Some blinking. The 14, unfortunately... KO'd himself, it looks like. Moving along here, side by side on lap 60. Blinking and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. That one's on the 4, he just drifts up into the 24. Though, who knows, maybe he's not given very much room because of the 24 has been racing. We are missing context here. Some blinking, almost to the end of this. Just going to be skipping through the 15, because all he's doing is blinking. Ooh. So this was our final caution. Right? That was our final caution, wasn't it? Well, 70, whatever. Yeah, I believe so. So that was just a case where... 25's going around, he's trying to make a pass. And uh, I think the 28... Maybe was trying to do a, an under, like a crossover, and the 15 didn't drift up toward the wall because he kind of like half committed to it, and they just ended up in the same lane. And then of course this car, you can't touch the, can't touch the rear of it at all. Uh, five blows the motor, probably from the damage you got. Seven joining the list of people who did that. Ooh, the 19 spinning. They hit the apron. Running 14th. Just gets a little bit too low and onto the apron. The 10 might have helped her save it. Oh, no. I didn't know this happened. Did we have another caution? Oh, I guess we did. Oh, I forgot. I guess we did have another caution. Warranted, because they are flipping down the backstretch. That was a big one. 12 just got her real good, and then the 16 sends her tumbling down the backstretch. Hey, the car's still moving, though. At least there's that. 10 bounces off the wall. Hey, at least uh, they didn't get stuck to it. Oh, the 15's blinking, that's right. Getting close to the end of this, about 10 laps to go. 17 overdrives it hard. It's Dante. <laughs> he uh, just is not quite able to get that turn in. Slams on the brakes and prevents wrecking anybody, so he handled it as well as he could, I think. So he definitely overcooked it on entry. Wall on exit there. Oh, wow, very nearly a late caution. That was about an inch away from that guy getting sideways enough for the yellow to come out. 
Another case where guys are ending up in the same lane and can't touch bumpers. Whoa. Charles overdrove it, I think, and uh, the 26 cut him a break, I believe, by breaking right there. Everyone just trying to get to the finish. Oh no, the last lap. So this is a white flag. There's not going to be any yellows. The 22 is going to run over the 10. Yeah. So that's why the 10 was saying something at the end. Oh man, I didn't even see that Dante got caught in that too. He didn't even, he didn't even say anything about that. He has nowhere to go. So he'll gain one, lose one. Still end up 15th. Probably another 4x he didn't want, though. Man, this was a... Uh, for how, how many green laps we got, kind of messy race. We got the one 4x that was kind of, like, not really warranted. Otherwise, we would have been okay, but lots of uh, incidents otherwise. As you can see, uh, Dante finishing it up there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Is this after the race is over? Yeah, the race is over. I'm not sure what that's about. If that was intentional or maybe they know each other, I don't know. Weird. But uh, that probably didn't count since that was after the checkered enough. And uh, that'll do it. So we get a top five, a P4 in fact. And uh, just one little 4X, but uh, shouldn't hurt us too bad. It was a long race and a short track race with the new way that they count the, the turns on short tracks. So we should probably still be maxed out at our A499 with a 3700 strength of field. That gets us 38 I rating. So yeah, we're still maxed out there. 200 championship points. Feeling great about that. And... Uh, we don't quite lead a lap, but we were all we were kind of close to the front the whole time, competing. Just so hard to pass, and uh, these guys up here are real good, not really making any mistakes. So there you have it. Rest of the field. I mean, look at I mean, just look how the two finished. He just had the one bad pit stop. He was in front of us for a lot of that time, right around us, and he ends up P10 after uh, he ended up 11th after that restart when he lost those positions. It's just like you get stuck back there and there's nothing you can do. It's crazy. I mean, we started fourth, finished fourth. I mean, that's not the, the same story for everybody, of course. But, I mean, the leader started first, finished first. And then, you know, the one and the three. Very, uh, very fast guys. 6,000, 7,000 I-rating guys. They are able to move forward. Honestly, probably the most impressive run was the 18. How did he do that? Starting 18th, coming all the way up for a top five. That's an incredible run. Zero X. Shout out to him. That's probably driver of the day right there. You know, not counting maybe the one who led uh, the most laps and won the race. But all right, that's all, all I got to say about this one, I think. Thanks for watching. That was a pretty intense one. Um, so that's why they call Richmond the action track. I get it now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.